year ago, everyone's Instagram feed started flooding with these pictures of these amazing dishes. And today we are sitting with Zoraur Kalra, who is the owner of Farzi Cafe, which has redefined Indian cuisine. So let's see what goes into the making of this illusion. Thank you, sir, for having us over. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. So could you please tell us how the whole inception of uh, Farzi Cafe happened? So, you know, Farzi Cafe um, has been something that I was thinking about for years. Uh, in 2006, I went to this amazing restaurant called El Bui yeah. in Spain. Mm -hmm. And uh, my whole mind completely opened. I mean, I saw molecular gastronomy for the first time. Mm -hmm. I thought, this is unbelievable. And this can do magic with, with Indian food. So that's how Farzi Cafe came about. The let's make, let's give that same fine dining kind of experience, same, similar food, mm -hmm. same high quality ingredients. But let's make it a little bit more cool, a little bit more edgy, a yeah. little bit more high energy. Yeah. So that's how Farzi Cafe came about. Yeah. And so now Chef Gaurav is going to take us, how, uh, teach us how to uh, cook the vada pav. So let's go check it out. Hello friends, I'm Chef Gaurav Chavla from Farzi Cafe Gurgaon. And today I'm here to make the vada pav. That's not the regular vada pav you're getting in the market. This is actually Farzi take on vada pav. So this is farzi fired vada pav. So what's, what's farzi-fication we have done over here, I'll, I'm not telling you now. You just see and how it proceed. So now I'm going to put just around one tablespoon of oil into the pan. Just a little bit more. First of all, I'm going to add mustard seeds. Just half teaspoon of mustard seed into this. Within a few minutes, within a couple of minutes, it will get splutter. It will crackle. Now I'm going to add Urad Dal. That's actually split black gram. I'm going to saute it. Now you can see, it's getting crackled. I'm going to add curry leaves into it. There's actually uh, 7 to 10 of curry leaves into it. I've actually just shredded it. Not very coarsely. Now when this is done, I'm going to add lasuni chutney. That's our homemade garlic chutney. Just a bit. It actually has all the flavors of red chili, coconut, and garlic. There's a lot of garlic into it. Now this is my spice is done. I'm not gonna add potatoes into it. This is a boiled potato. This will be around uh, 350 grams of boiled potatoes I've taken. I'm going to mix it nicely. Now I'm going to add Degi Mirch into it. This is the basic seasoning we're doing. It will get a bit of sharpness and the color as well. Now we'll add seasoning, that's the salt. You can add on salt as per your taste. Now I'm going to mix it well. So this is done. I'm going to transfer it on the plate. Let this be off. So this is my vada pav mixture is ready. I'm gonna rest it for another five to ten minutes, cool down. Then we have a pav over here. So this is pav. This is not a regular vada pav. You might be wondering the vada and the pav. This is actually inside out. The vada and pav. The pav is inside the vada. This is a regular pav you can get in the market. So I need to slice it from the center. This is our sour chutney. And this is mint chutney. So 
So now I'm gonna cut it the small dices. So now you got the, all the dices of vada pav with mint chutney and sour chutney into it. So this is my pav, sour chutney and mint chutney into it. So you know, now gonna make small balls of this vada pav. You can apply a little bit of oil because it won't stick. Now I'm gonna put my pow mixture into it. I'm, I'm actually stuffing it into it. So now our vada pow is ready. This is hot oil. It's actually refined oil I've taken just to fry the vada pow. I'm gonna mix the basin batter very well. This basin batter is actually made of uh, basin, this Bengal gram and uh, jeera powder into it, red chilli powder, a bit of turmeric and salt into it. So now this is almost done. I can now coat the vada. I'm just simply coating the vada from all the sides so that none of the side will get untouched by the basin batter. Now I'm going to transfer it on the oil, hot oil. So I put in all the four bowls over here. I'm going to stir it so that it won't stick This is almost done. I'm gonna transfer it on the absorbent paper. So I'm gonna off it. So now comes the plating part. So this is our, we call it calendar platter. So this is our calendar platter. This is my sword chutney. Just a dollop of sword chutney and the mint chutney. I just need to swap it, just a little. Then I put a bit of Lesuni chutney, because actually we added in the vada pav mixture. Just a little spoon. Then I put the vada pav into it. So then I drizzle some more of mint chutney and salt chutney over it. Now we add the fried green chili. This is actually fried green chili and uh, chaat masala and jeera masala onto, onto the top of it. And then the last is aloo bhujia. Well, this is whole aloo. So aloo bujia will complement very well with this. Finally some microgreens. These are the microgreens of uh, mustard. So it has a lot of mustard into it. So this is Farsi Fried Vada Pav for you. I hope you enjoy it.
beautiful Kobayashi cutlet with this uh, mom's green chutney, kashundi, and uh, spiked lava spiked onions. Nice kick of wasabi. Voila, the salad is ready. Like they say, a good cook is that person who can taste, who knows the taste of the food also. It's not only cooking. Your green curry is ready.